Boy oh boy do I have a good one for you guys today. Hey what's up everyone, it's me Speed Super Sniper guys, another video. In this video today we are back again talking about more Sonic the Hedgehog Movie 3. I feel like when it comes to news videos this is like primarily what I talk about, but let's be real, there's not too much else to talk about right now. I feel like we should be getting a new Knuckles trailer very soon, and hopefully some more news about Sonic X Shadow Generations, but if there's like a positive to take away from only talking about Sonic Movie 3, it is, I think, everybody's most anticipated project of the year. I cannot wait for this movie, I am so excited for this movie, and today not only do we have some exclusive stuff to go over that I will be breaking to you, given by you guys actually, or a specific person out of you guys, but also something that was kind of related to our last Sonic Movie 3 discussion that I just didn't go over, and honestly not a lot of people are going over, but there have been rumblings in the fan base and little discourse going on, and I thought we would discuss that. So without any further ado, let's dive into our first topic before we get into all of the juicy stuff that I have in this little exclusive piece, and that is about James Marsden's recent interview that he did where he basically broke the news that Sonic Movie 3 wrapped. That's of course been what everybody's been talking about, the fact that the movie's wrapped, people are very excited, this means that we're on track to more news coming out in relation to the film when it comes to actors being announced, specifically Shadow's actor. We're not really here to go over that, we're mainly here to go over something that James Marsden said in that interview, a few guys pointed out in the comments, a lot of people have been talking about it on social media, and that is this specific clip right here where he says this. Very lucky to be a part of it, and I think fans are going to be excited about all the new characters your little your boy I can't wait to see all of it yeah my little boy will be there excited about shadow coming in, coming in that is of course very very interesting and there obviously is the main character that he even talked about in that segment and that is of course shadow shadow is the main new character of the film we know that there are other characters getting introduced in the film who aren't anthro and you know like christian redder and christo fernandez and alia brown like those are human characters but there was a large discussion when that cast was announced of okay there are a lot of new actors here not all of these people are going to be humans right now while of course that is always a possibility and you can't completely rule that out. It started leaning that way once when we heard the report from Daniel RPK, who's been very credible, very reliable when it's come to Sonic Movie 3 scoops. Well, there haven't been a bunch. The ones that he has broke have turned out to be true. And when I told you guys that Christian Ritter would be playing Captain Rockwell in the Sonic Movie 3 and not Rouge or Amy, like some people speculated she would be playing, mainly due to Christian Ritter's somewhat high status in terms of name, not only on Twitter and stuff, but I saw so many of you guys in the comments who were just so sad about this information. Not really angry, not really any strong emotion, just kind of disappointment. Because if there was an actor out of this cast who you thought could be playing a Sonic character, surely it would be Christian Ritter. And once when it was confirmed that that's not the case, the question started to pop up and even I started talking about how I think it's kind of unlikely at this point that we'll be getting Rouge or Amy in the movie. But now that James Marsden has said this, this has kind of reignited a spark in the fan base of the possibility of a Rouge or an Amy being in the movie. Maybe potentially both. This conversation can go on for a long time and we are going to discuss this further, but I always state this when talking about Sonic Movie 3. This is not a direct adaptation of Sonic Adventure 2, so it's not like every single character who is in a cutscene of that game is going to be in this, and that also can extend to Rouge and or Amy. I think I got like a little bit of blowback when I said that Amy is not necessary in Sonic Movie 3 by any means, and that and really her role in turning Shadow to the light side, if you will, is an integral upon Amy as a character, and I also don't think it's smart to simply introduce a character to just play a role in another character's arc. It is a character you have to set up, give a purpose, beyond just serving another character, like who is Amy herself? It's that question that makes me question her being in this movie, but Rouge has been a different story. We all know that in the Sonic canon universe lore, Rouge has a much larger connection to Shadow than any other character in the franchise. They're always by each other's side, they were introduced in the same game, they're part of the same team, so that one is a little more likely. Also, I feel like her role could fit a little better in movie 3, despite her maybe not being as high profile of a name in the general audience as Amy. So would they be willing to take that risk of putting Amy or Rouge in the film? I am still kind of 50-50 on it. I'm going to say that I don't think both of them are going to be in the movie. I think if any of them are in the film, you're at least just going to get one. Once again, I'm leaning towards Rouge, but it could very well be just as likely that none of them will be in the movie than are. But at the same time, this got me thinking. There's a good 
good chance that none of the people who are announced to be in the Sonic Movie 3 cast are playing Anthro characters, but there could be actors later down the line in a matter of weeks or months who get announced to be playing them. We know that Shadow is not cast yet, so who says that can't be the case for Amy or Rouge? They can announce all three alongside each other, or they can maybe space them out a bit. Also, another thing that could give legitimacy to either Amy or Rouge being in the movie is the fact that this movie has been behind closed doors. Part of the reason I said that I don't think that they'll be in there is because we've heard literally no word from any reliable source whatsoever. No one's really talked about the possibility of Amy or Rouge being in the film. This movie has been so behind closed doors and so protected from the public and leaks getting out there. There have been minimal leaks from this movie, basically none. Set photos, details on the film behind the scenes, it's been very, very hush-hush. So maybe part of the reason that there's no indication of them being in the movie is because they've just done a really good job at keeping it a secret. Those are the two biggest indicators that there's still a possibility that it could be in there because I don't want to kill all of your hopes and dreams and also I don't want to be entirely wrong. I don't want to flat out say that they're not going to be in the movie and then show up and I look like an idiot. Trust me, as a Sonic fan, I would like to see these characters in the movie and given justice. But at the same time, I do want to be realistic and not set myself and you guys up with false expectations just to be disappointed when it doesn't end up happening. There's a very good chance that Amy Ann Rouge can pop up in Sonic Movie 3, but just as likely as one of those characters popping up, it's just as likely that they're not going to be in it either. And if that turns out to be the case, or if it doesn't, I just want to say this off the bat. Please, Sonic fans, don't judge the movie or write it off if this doesn't happen. If Rouge or Amy aren't in the movie, which I know a lot of people are expecting, this doesn't mean that Movie 3 is going to be bad or a bad interpretation of the Sonic franchise. You could still tell a great story, a great shadow story, without either of those characters. This is a new interpretation of Sonic in the franchise. They're blazing their own trail, they're doing their own thing, and I think that's something that should be commended. All I want to say is just trust the process. So yes, before we move on to our next story, I just want to ask real fast, do you think that James Marsden, when he's referring to all of the new characters, do you think that that might imply that it's not just Shadow and might also be Rouge or Amy? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you guys have to say, but let's move on to this little Speed Super Sonic exclusive. One of my fans who watches the videos is named Scott Nichols. I want to give a big shout out to him for giving me this information and giving me something to bring to you guys in regards to Sonic Movie 3 and kind of little details on the future of just Sonic in general and some things that people are working on because they recently attended a convention with a bunch of Sonic voice actors including Colleen O'Shaughnessy who as we all know is the voice of Tails not just in all of the Sonic media but Sonic movie franchise in particular with Tails. This was at Phoenix Game On Expo I believe is the name of it and Scott was attending that event and gave me a bunch of bullet points basically on info that was given by Colleen, Mike Pollock, etc on Sonic Movie 3, other aspects of the Sonic franchise so let's dive into it right now and see what he has. Colleen stated that she has not started recording her voice for the new Sonic 3 movie, but that she is actually starting this week. So apparently they are not done voice recording. That is interesting. Also the fact that the timeline, she said that it would be this week. We know that Ben Schwartz started a few weeks ago, so they're just getting a bunch of people in there, starting work on it, which is exciting. Colleen stated that she does not know if Shadow has been cast, but currently she said she has not heard anything about it. We also know this to be the case. A while ago, Daniel RPK said that Shadow has not been cast yet. Any rumors, anything that you were hearing earlier is just complete BS not happening. We talked about it plenty with the whole Hayden Christensen thing, but yeah, I could go on and on about who I'd want to see play Shadow, Robert Pattinson. Colleen stated that she does not know of any additional characters in the new Sonic 3 movie, but stated that she will know this week during her recordings and she's excited to see what she gets to read. And I think that might be the case for a lot of these actors. If you just like look back on basically every actor who's worked in these movies, it seems like they don't really know what's going on until they get their scripts in hand and are actually working on it and filming. I don't really find it surprising at all that Colleen O'Shaughnessy doesn't really know anything about Sonic Movie 3. I mean, she's just a voice actor and she's there to read her lines. So when she gets the script and reads her lines, that's when she'll figure out what's going on. But it's not like, you know, Jeff Feller's calling her up and is like, hey, Colleen, uh, this is everything that happens. Big the cats in it. Now, here's this. This isn't movie related, but this is interesting. Mike Pollock stated that there was game and non-game stuff coming with him in it, but didn't state what. Mike head kind of turns and is just like, what could it be, really? Because they could just very well, you know, reuse voice clips for these mobile games. Like, he could very well not pop up in Sonic X Shadow Generations. He also could, let's not forget. So what else game related could it be? We're basically now in an era where we're going to get a Sonic game, at least one Sonic game for console each year, regardless of if it's a brand new 
new game, a spinoff, a 2D title, we're going to get something. But we have no idea really what's on the horizon in terms of video games like in 2025 or 2026 or etc. There's a chance that, you know, next year we could see the next main series game. No real clue what they're planning on doing with the next Sonic game at this point, but clearly if he's doing something game related with his voice, then there's a good chance that it could be for a brand new game that we might be hearing more about at some point, but he also mentions non-game related stuff, which is exciting. Now here's this one. There's a rumor that maybe the current voice actors could get cameo roles in the new Sonic Movie 3, but Roger stated that no one has heard anything about that or been contacted. I don't know what they're talking about here. There have been no rumors of any of these Sonic voice actors who are currently playing these characters popping up in Movie 3. Regardless if it's a voice role or a physical one, it's not gonna happen. I think what maybe some people are referring to is this clip of Ryan Drummond saying, yo, I'm me, Ryan, and Jason, we're all trying to get in Sonic Movie 3 in some kind of cameo. When Jason and Roger, they're doing fine. He points towards the Mario Mario movie and that having cameos by Charles Martinet, who's the voice of Mario in the video games or was. The difference with this though is multiple things. The Mario movie was an animated film and every character in there you could get any kind of person to do a voice really. And I feel like if you didn't get Charles Martinet, there would have been riots. He's earned that, he's deserved that, there should be tribute to him for as long as he's voiced this character for and being the first time really on a large scale that he hasn't voiced Mario. With Ryan it's different. Ryan Drummond hasn't voiced Sonic since what, 2003? It has been over 20 years. And Jason Griffith hasn't voiced the character in almost like, what, 15 years? And Roger is still Sonic the Hedgehog. Look, Ryan Drummond wants a job. I mean, look at his IMDb. Things aren't really popping right now, so of course he wants a cameo in Sonic Movie 3. But I just, I don't see this happening at all. Or if it's the current cast or someone who voiced the character 20 years ago. I'm sure that'd be awesome for the fan base if it were to happen, but there's no rumor of this happening. It's simply a wish of Ryan Drummond, who will do anything to cling on to his time as Sonic. If it sounds like I'm being harsh, listen, he almost ruined my childhood with what he did, so I'm, I'm just gonna move on. And you need to be spanked. And that is really all of the info. He shared some pictures. This is real. This is not just some made up story. This did happen. There he is. So all of that is very cool to see, but I'm sure that this video might have run on for a little longer than I expected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pass this off to you guys and ask what you think. Do you think that there's a possibility that Rouge and Amy could still pop up in Sonic Movie 3, or do you think that idea is kind of dead? Also, what do you think about these little details coming from Colleen O'Shaughnessy and Mike Pollock out of the Phoenix Game on Expo. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you guys have to say. Feel free to follow my social media links on my Twitter and Instagram in the description below. You can follow those buttons links in my life, which I to end all things Sonic the Hedgehog. But most importantly, if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed to the number one station on YouTube for all things Sonic, where there's video games, TV shows, movies, comic books, merchandise, and more. We talk about it all. There's so much stuff coming. I feel like we're about to get a new wave of Sonic news anytime soon. And not just that, I have a bunch of amazing original content on the way for you guys as well. I love all you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. And be right by the motherfucking seaside dog. Everything I see, I got a dream. I thought these leaves are going to take me out the dark. I know everything I wanted to find.